Hello again, um, seasonal adventurers. Sorry, I'll just sort of pop up a message I've not seen before on screen. That's why I was scrunching up my face. Um, I'm back in the apartment and with a replacement blog punked TV. I am low tech. I those that know me know that's the case. Uh, I think I've pressed a button here that I don't need. Let's press that. If we get rid of that. Oh, anyway, there's something. There's a framing on screen. Hopefully. I'm looking all right. Anyway, um, if you can see and hear me okay, <laughs> uh, I'll just show you the television. It's just to my right, just one moment. So I know it's not the ideal spot having it on the carpet, but um, I know I'm rather clumsy, so... Um, so if I did elevate it, I'd, I'd knock it down. I'd knock it. I'd, I would knock into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clumsy. I'm so clumsy. Um, I know I could hang it on the wall. Someone suggested that, um, or maybe several people suggested, you can just hang the television on the wall like a photo frame. But um, as you can see from the walls behind me, that's the posters have taken pro <laughs> priority, reliving my adolescence with posters all over the, the apartment beyond the bedroom. Um, it'll just stay there for now. Um, my desks are just in proximity to that screen so I can watch the television from my um, my desk chair we'll work it out obviously it's a light television fairly light to move around myself I can reposition it um, JB were pretty JB hi-fi were pretty um, efficient in replacing the television and they inspected the damaged television and they took it that I didn't damage it um, the person I spoke to gave an example of other customers trying to return something, trying to return a television that they had damaged themselves by pressing their thumb into the screen. Um, you meant to obviously pick up the television by the frame or from the bottom, as it says it's advised on the box, not from the screen. And yeah, when she saw clear finger or thumb marks in the screen, they weren't willing to exchange it because it was the um, owner's fault not following the instructions on how to handle the television properly. Yeah, which is I, I, it's fair enough. If you drop the television outside your balcony onto the ground, would you expect them to, you know, return that or exchange it? <laughs> anyway, um, it's a lesson. <coughs> pardon me. It's a lesson learned for those that are buying new television. I'm, I'm sure you're way ahead of me. You wouldn't order it delivered unless you were I know, in the middle of whoop whoop or nowhere or um, yeah you just couldn't get that model on site in a bricks and mortar shop but from going forward I mean this television should last me a while but what if I buy my next one I won't order it online I will just go into a store and buy it there <laughs> therefore then you can inspect it and make sure that the screen isn't cracked or damaged before you take it home all right then, I can enjoy actually for the first time 40 inches of glorious screen where um, I've either been using one of my mobile phones or um, a small, um, I'll just show you, it's just over here. Yes, being old school, this is a, I saw a blow punk actually, not coincidentally. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the, that's how I've been watching DVDs. But now I can enjoy 40 inches of television. I haven't connected it to the TV, to, to the free-to-air channels that's available to us in Australia. Um, it did automatically try to calibrate that, but there must be another plug. I need to plug it in, I guess, for the antenna, maybe. I, Like I said, ever since the analog t signal has been turned off, I never replaced. I never got a digital television straight away. This is um, my first foray into flat-screen digital television. I'm happy to use it, yes, as a glorified DVD player, which it is doing now, because I kind of got used to not watching television. Um, anyway, call me boring. Boring. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Um, yeah, so I finally got a TV. What is the only other thing? An armchair, I guess. I can't, f I've chosen not to, you know, allow space properly for a sofa. So an armchair, maybe, maybe at a stretch. We'll see. Otherwise, we're pretty much settled in and guest ready. Dang, nab it. <laughs> Good afternoon to you all, seasonal adventurers, and bye for now.